Nothing fake about it. Okay. Tails of Zilly on Steam. That'd be nice. Ba 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 Quiet down, Miss Thang. <laughs> See what's going on around here. Let's take a little stroll around. See what the beep is going on. Good day to you, Your Majesty. If you're looking for King Erwin, he's in his usual spot by the fountain down below. It looks like he's got a lot on his mind. Does he ever? I reckon it'll be a wee girl, and with a mother as lovely as Queen Eleanor, she'll be as cute as a button. I just know it's gonna be a wee boy, and with a dad like that, I bet he'll grow up big and strong. Probably. Da -na -na. Da -na 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 oh, I cannot wait for the wee one to be born. I'm getting that excited. You think it was me own flesh and blood? You'd think, but you'd be wrong. Ah, King Erwin and Queen Eleanor always look so happy. Well, that's true love for ye. I wish it could happen t t to me, but I suppose that's hoping for too much. Yeah, it really is. Forgive me, your majesty, but I cannot allow you to proceed. There's a private meeting in progress. You son of a bitch. I may just have to have you fired, sir. Screwing around again. J just like Hasty Stephen. Not long now, your majesty. I am quite sure the newest addition to the royal family will be a huge asset to the kingdom. Ah, but you must first forgive my excitement. I almost forgot my priestly duties. Your Jason priestly duties. Ha ha ha. Eighty-eight hours of gameplay, ladies and gentlemen, of this supposed jury. Your Majesty, you were always known as a wise ruler. One who knew a thing or two about a thing or two. I know a thing or two about a thing or two. Just throwing that out there. Well, I was wondering if I might be bold enough to make a small request of you. If you don't mind, I would very much like to ask you some questions in order to see your formidable intellect at work. So what do you say? Will you indulge me? I guess. Why, thank you, Your Majesty. Now, without further ado, let me set you some posers. Some what? All I require is that you and your infinite wisdom supply me with a simple true or false in response to each one. Ready? Here we go. True or false? You, Lord Robert, are in fact the youngest of three brothers. I don't know. False? But, Your Majesty, surely you jest. You cannot seriously have forgotten how many siblings you have. No, you are merely teasing me, I am certain of it. I know you have always enjoyed a good laugh, but I would humbly request the next time you take my question seriously, and answer truthfully to the very best of your abilities. Okay. Okay. Yes, true. Not yes, true. Correct. But that was too easy, was it not? Let's give you a sterner challenge for the second question. Here it comes. True or false, the purple orb is one of the royal treasures of Sniffleheim. That's the blue orb. That would be a false. Correct. Bravo. Now I can tell you what more of a challenge, so let's increase the difficulty a little. True or false, the Drusillian Sovereign we use as currency in our kingdom is worth ten Drusillian shillings. Um, yeah, I think a guinea's worth five and a sovereign's worth ten, so true. Correct. I can see that you are champing at the bit in anticipation of more testing questions. Well, let's see how you enjoy this one. True or false, the Sultan of Galapolis has a single son upon whom he dotes excessively. True. 
Oh dear, your majesty, surely you are aware that the Sultan has not yet been blessed with... All right, we're in the past. It seems you are unwilling to give free rein to your immense intellect. I very much hope the next time you take on this challenge, there will be no such restraint. <laughs> I forgot that we're kind of in the past now, so... So, you know. False. Correct. But of course that comes as no surprise to you, Your Majesty. You have cruised effortlessly to the very final question. True or false, in addition to the four great kingdoms that make up Erdria, there was once a fifth. True. Oh, you did it, Your Majesty. You answered every single question correctly. But then I expected nothing less. Truly I have witnessed an epic feat of intellectual prowess. I shall never forget what I have observed here today. The sight of a matchless mind spreading its wings and taking flight is something I shall take to the grave. Here, a small token of my appreciation. You get a seat of magic. This has been both a humbling and an... And a, this has been both a humbling and inspiring experience, Your Majesty. I intend to hit the books and memorize yet more obscure trivia that I might one day reach your heady heights. You don't have to freeze every goddamn thing. We can't all be proctologists, you know. Sorry, Your Majesty. The floors have just been polished, so I cannot let you walk on them. We wouldn't want you slipping and cracking your head now, would we? Well, maybe. If you're looking for King Erwin, he's over by the fountain. Hey, this is big news, all right. The next in line to the throne of Dundrasil is on the way. Folks from all over the world will be dying to know if it's a wee lad or a wee lassie. Apparently so. I, I hear a lawnmower, by the way. I don't know if you can hear that, but... We're rushed off our feet getting everything ready for the new arrival. We need to get the castle spick and span for the little ones. First impressions and all that. I'd not bother going through there if I were you, Your Majesty. Unless there's a special occasion, the banqueting hall is just a big empty space. That's a shame. That's a damn shame. Public shaming. Forgive me for bothering ye with such a trifling matter, Your Majesty, but I have a wee problem. I'd very much like to ask your advice about it. The truth is, there's someone in the castle who's caught my eye, but I just cannot muster the courage to tell them how I feel. Anyway, I had an idea, and I know it sounds like I'm out of my tree, but what if they got yourself? I'd reckon they'd be over the moon, so what do you say? Ah, eh, sure, why not? You'll do it? Really? Wow, I don't know, quite know what to say. You're a star. Oh, before I forget, here, here they are. We get a pretty posy. Now, how can I forget... What the fuck? Now, how can I begin to describe my true love, my peach? The apple of my eyes and chapter of my heart? Well, they're in the castle. They're wearing green. Oh, and they've got red hair. Good luck! Thanks, General Pepper. You son of a bitch. And it's not actually in our inventory. It's like what the well, it's like what the beep ever. I'm sorry, your Mandy, but I cannot let you go that way. The maids are busy cleaning. You see, that's fun. Good to see you. What the fuck? What, what the hell's wrong with me? Good day to you, Lord Robert. I expect you're going to be putting on a lavish party to celebrate the birth of your first grandchild. I do hope I'll be on the guest list. Why not? You must be very excited about the baby, Your Majesty. I know I am. In fact, I prepared a beautiful bouquet of flowers to present to Queen Eleanor. I run an exclusive florist, don't you know? The man has red hair and is dressed in green. He might be the person the lovesick guard wants you to deliver the flowers to. I don't know about that. I'm guessing not, but you never know. 
Oh, hello, Your Majesty. You must be very excited about the new addition to the family. Could be. Hmm. Oh, what lovely flowers. Are you really giving them to me, Your Majesty? Aye, but they're not from me. A young guard asked me to give them to ye. Well, well, I don't know what I've done to deserve this, but I'd better thank that fine young fella. Do you happen to know where he is? Rob tells the woman where to find the lovesick guard, and she hurries off to thank him. I hate to break it to you, Your Majesty, but you delivered the flowers to the wrong person. But every cloud has a silver lining and all that. I ended up speaking to the person you gave them to, so I could explain the mix-up, and it turns out she's my long-lost mother. What? What the hell? I owe it all to ye, Your Majesty. If you hadn't agreed to do me this favor, I might have gone to the grave without ever seeing my ma again. Words cannot express how grateful I am, but maybe this can. I get a pretty Betsy. May I say that it's been a privilege to see you working your magic, Your Majesty. Serving you, your family, and all the people of Dundrasil is truly an honor. Wow, that's just ridiculous. Oh, I don't know how to thank you, Your Majesty. Okay, I have no idea what's happening here, but regardless. wonder what would happen if we would have given it to them. What do we got going on in here? It's a soldier! I'm famished. It sounds like there's been some kind of problem in the kitchen. But surely they can serve us something before we all starve to death. I don't know about that. A man cannot fight on an empty stomach. Special antidote. What's so special about it? Here's a single ally of poison and restores at least 60 HP. Fun. We got the fireplace channel running in here. That's always good to see. Ah, your majesty, cometh the hour, cometh the man. We're in the middle of a wee culinary emergency, and we could do with the assistance of someone such as yourself. A gastronome, shall we say. A butterfingered fool of a maid managed to drop the very last pot of pepper from the castle larder, and it smashed and went everywhere. Oh my lord. I'm sure you can imagine what the guards will say when they sit down to their neeps and tatties and there's no seasoning to be had. There'll be an uproar. Please, your majesty, help us in our hour of need. Okay. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Now, if you wouldn't mind searching the castle, we need something nice and pugnant we can use instead of pepper. I was thinking some of the plants around the castle might yield something useful. It's certainly worth a look, anyway. But don't restrict your search to plants alone. You never know where the perfect condiment might be hiding. Well, I trust your judgment, Your Majesty. Happy hunting. Maybe we can find some mustard. <laughs> it's all my fault. I was the one who dropped the pepper pot. It's a calamity. What will we do without pepper? What are we going to do? My tummy's rumbling so loudly, I cannot hear myself think. How are we supposed to train without a good feed? Why are you? We're supposed to get three hot meals a day. Shut up, man. Some people don't get one hot meal a day. So you just need to shut the hell up, sir. Uh -uh. I'm about ready to kick your ass. dun 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 so we gotta find some plants, I guess. We we cannot go that way. Stand up adventure style. Maybe we can find some mustard in here. That's a plant, but you know, it's just like sitting there. Woo! Nothing there. Dorito style. Da -na -na -na. Where's the mustard at? I don't know where it is. 
Oh, wait a minute. Hmm, I have a feeling I read somewhere that the berries from this plant are meant to taste a wee bit like pepper. I'm sure there are other things you could use instead of pepper, but this doesn't seem like a bad option to me. Put the berries forward as your suggested substitute? Indeed. Hmm, I struggle to believe that berries can taste much like pepper, but cooking is not for the faint-hearted. Sometimes you have to just give things a go. I knew you wouldn't have let us down, Your Majesty. Here's a little token of appreciation on behalf of all the kitchen staff. A seed of strength! Bum bum bum. The cooks in the castle kitchen used the berries Rab brought them to make a supremely spicy batch of napes and tatties for the guards' dinner. Fun. Well, it doesn't look like there's anyone else in the castle in need of help. And I've been and dispensed my infinite wisdom in the throne room, too, which means it's time to go and have a wee word with Erwin. He said he'd be by the fountain. Ha! Ah! Ah! He on such. So I think we're done here. Familiar? Hmm. It's a fountain! I can't jump in it and cause a public scene. Ah, Lord Robert, your timing is almost uncanny. I've just the second managed to come up with a perfect name for the new baby at last. Without you, I wouldn't have had the time to properly mull it over. You've no idea how much of a help you've been. Since we both finished with our business for the day, why don't we head back to the throne room and wait for the good news? Okay. I guess. Your Majesty, Lord Robert, the new arrival is here. <gasps> Already? Ah. That was quick. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Fireballs! It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. Oh, yeah? A boy. It's a boy. Look, Erwin. It's the main character and such. Oh, he's a fine wee chappy. And what a set of lungs. We'd better hurry up and give him a name before he screams the place down. Hi. We were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Erdrick! Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds... Clever and brave and yes, <laughs> but I'd rather set my heart on something else. You know. What do you think of this for a name? Oh, uh, well, it it it's nice, but it wouldn't exactly be my first choice. Yeah, me either. That's a stupid but name. But if that's the name you've chosen, my love, then that's the name he shall have. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. He was almost the main character of, of, of DQ1. R R Rob's the main character's grandfather. And from this day forth, he shall be known as... <laughs> he sneezed over it, you know, because they can't say it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, father. <clears throat> Sorry about that, love. Never mind that. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Gaga and such. Hello, wee one. I'm your grandpa. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> ah! He's gone. Ah! <gasps> Defeated. What the... What the beep? Having fun? 
Ah, how are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel so real. <laughs> Now what? We gotta keep following the bunny girl on Twitch. Trying to piss me off. Let's check the drawers. A diamond! I think that's a picture of a landscape on the outskirts of Nebraska. Pretty sure. Ooh, ooh, they got the, ooh, they got the Fireplace 2 channel. How about that? Because it's fancy. He had to jump up. The Book of Erdwin. Chapter 1, Song of Beginnings. World Tree's Gift, First of Many, Bold, Bright, Blessed Luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast, Lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. Chapter 2, Song of Prayer. These are short chapters. World Tree's Foot, a plea, a prayer. Ringeth through the mountain air. Babe is born, trees will revealed. Serenica, luminary shield. This book is filled with many more such important sounding poems. Rob carefully closes it. Cause he's a short little sum bitch. Just the way it is. Hmm? Why is it so quiet? Are we in a library? Oh no, I'm gonna get thrown out again. This sucks. Sick of being in libraries. Ha ha! Ha ha! He can jump pretty high for a short old guy. Something tells me I should follow that lassie in the bunny ears on Twitch. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 ba da bum bum. How you doing? Ah! She disappeared. How do I follow her? She disappeared. What the hell? Stop teleporting! I'm I'm just an old man with short legs. Where'd you go? Come back here! I'll kick your ass. Did she go down here? Yes, she did. Where'd everybody go? They couldn't have left without telling me, can they? They weren't real, sir. Were they? Oh. The hell? A cake! What's all this then? I'm just a disc jockey. A and a crappy one at that. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday, Grandpa! Hey, main character's not supposed to talk. Get away. It's... It's you. Well done, Ben. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! You didn't suspect a thing, did you? We all worked extra hard to keep it a secret. Happy birthday, Lord Robert. We've had Gondolia's finest patisias working day and night on your cake here. I trust it will be to your taste. Many happy returns, Father. May you live a long and joyful life, watching your grandson grow into a fine young man. I want some cake. Oh, you... you, you shouldn't have... Congratulations, Your Highness. The people of Dundasil are eternally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Yeah, yeah. 
And we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and peaceful under King Erwin too. Oh, that's my boys. Aye, and a great big happy birthday to you from all the lads and lassies in the tavern, eh? <laughs> Don't forget to send word when you've a new addition or two to the royal collection of <clears throat> gentlemen's periodicals, will you, big man? <sighs> oh, God. My people. Oh, how I love them. You're not crying, are you, Grandpa? Is something the matter? No, laddie. Everything's perfect. Just perfect. Oh my god, there's a bear! Holy beep! Can't do that on television. Can't even do that in the middle of a Lancer stream. How you doing? How are you bearing up, your highness? Many happy returns. I hope you're having a great day. Oh, and I wanted to say thank you for picking me to represent Dundrasil all those years ago. At first it was pretty grisly. Meh. <laughs> I won't lie to you, when I entered the ring, the whole crowd booed. It was tough to bear. Eh. But when they saw me in action, it gave them pause for thought. The crowd slowly warmed to me, and by the time I lifted the trophy, they were all right behind me. What an experience. You know, you should probably wipe your mouth, sir. Like, like, can someone hand him a napkin? Not many people would have given an animal like me a chance, but you could see that I had something to give. On behalf of me and all the Cubs, I want to thank you for what you did. On behalf of him and the Chicago Cubs. Oh my god, this guy died! What the hell? What happened? Oh, what's going on? I only had a wee drop to wet me a whistle, and now I'm staggering around the place. I thought I was made of sterner stuff than this. Poor guy. I think he crapped his pants. Well... He's fired. Me and me mates are the finest fighters in Octagonia, and we came to wish you a very happy birthday, Your Royalness. Oh, and if you're wondering who the who lets the like of us crash your party, it was that bloke you sent off to represent Dundrasil in the tournament all them years ago. He may look a bit uptight, but he's all right. He's a bear. H happy birthday. <laughs> the hell? He's lifting his. <laughs> He's lifting his fist in the air, like he's salty about a ROM hack or something. Happy birthday to ye. I hope you don't mind, but I wanted to meet the man who picked the fighter who represented Dundrasil all those years ago. The guy's a good friend of mine now, you see, and we got a bot. We almost made it through a stream without one. Damn you. I'm impressed he managed to look beyond his beastly exterior and see that he had a good art. You've got a rare eye for folks inner strength, you know that? He's pounding his fist in the air like he just won a battle in a Final Fantasy game. Like, sheesh. Munch Crunch. Like, like Captain Crunch and such. Serving you was the single greatest honor of my life, Lord Robert. Fun. Wake Robin, the king just freaking shattered a, 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 just shattered a freaking jar. What's up with that? Like jargon and such. Aye, Dundrasil's future is assured. I mean, with Lord Robert, King Erwin, and, and, and that stupid kid, how can we go wrong? You're truly an inspiration to all of us guards. Okay. You never guess whose idea was to make a cake this big. None other than your pride and joy. That's cool. Uh... Why is this idiot upside down? What the hell's happening here? It is an honor to meet you, Lord Robert. All Galopladian... All... All... All Galabladians know you as the man who offered us your kingdom surplus grain without asking for any payment in return. So I guess it changes the dialogue depending on the decisions you made. <gasps> I just hiccuped. It would be no exaggeration to say that you are the reason we are all alive and well and can be here today. 
There are no words to express our gratitude, only circus stunts. Okay. He's juggling! Magnificent, marvelous, magical. It, it's the Sultana. The heartiest of healthy, healthy, what the fuck? The heartiest of happy birthdays to you, old friend. Dundrasil has always been a friend to Galopolis. We owe you a great debt for the help you offered us when we, when we were beset by drought. Without your generous assistance, I fear our kingdom would not have survived. My people would never forget your kindness. Another juggler. Happy birthday, T. Ta-da! Lord Robert, I am your humble servant. If you had not so kindly donated your surplus grain, I shudder to think how many lives might have been lost to the drought. On behalf of all Galopolis, I thank you. Galopolis is a place where chivalry and honor are everything. We never forget those we are indebted to. That I promise you. You may rest assured that your name will live on in legend. I remember when I was a kid, I I would try and stand on top of a ball like that, but it never worked because I always slipped off and fell on my a-hole. So, that's how that went. What a spread. What a spread. Did, looks like we got a fish, some kind of thing there. And some, like, fruits and stuff. What a party! Aye, there's no doubt about it. This is the single greatest party I've ever been to in, in, in my puff. Now, if you do not mind, I've off to search for a wee dram. Okay. Oh, 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 did you just call me a hoe? Lord Robert, you look like a man half your age. Maybe you could let me in on one secret one day. Probably not. I don't like you very much, sir. What a wonderful occasion. May you be blessed with many more happy, healthy years, your highness. Now let us give praise for all we have. Random save point. Na, 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 na. Dun, dun, dun. 